Get that. That looks so good. Awesome. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's real. That's from Mexico, man. Dan Ramon. So guys, the Sajang Nim is gonna have tequila with us. Wow. Muju is a beautiful mountainous region situated next to Korea's fourth largest mountain. Despite Muju being only about one hour away from our hometown of Daejeon, Courtney and I had yet to visit. So when Travel Shooting, a video production startup company, contacted us about promoting Muju tourism, I knew we had to accept. Muju is famous for its beautiful ski resorts in the wintertime and also for its Firefly Festival held in the late summer. This seemed like the perfect excuse to enjoy this stunningly beautiful region and explore exactly what kind of food Muju could offer. But we sincerely had no idea exactly how grand, fresh, and delicious Muju food would actually be. And our good friends, Sharif and Choha from Full Belly Travels, decided to join us to help us conquer these incredible meals. So where do we start? Well, how about introducing Sharif to one of my absolutely favorite dishes in Korea? Raw freshwater trout. Something entirely unheard of in our home country. I couldn't wait to see Sharif's reaction to this incredibly delicious and rare dish. But I wanted to find a truly special place for Sharif's first experience. It meant a one hour hike up into Dogusan Mountain to Korea's only natural water trout farm. Hello everyone. We just got done meeting with the travel shooting crew here in Muju. And basically for the next two days, we're gonna be going around Muju and eating delicious food. But right now we are in Dokyusan and we're walking to our first restaurant, which is gonna be Sungo Hue. We're gonna to go to a Sungo Nongjang, which is a trout farm. The weather is so nice, so beautiful here. So beautiful. So guys, we've been walking in Dokusan for about 40 minutes and we haven't seen a sign. So I hope, I hope we can eat some Songoe today. All right guys, we made it to the Songo restaurant. It does exist way up in the mountains and we're surrounded by mushroom farms, rivers, clean air, absolutely gorgeous. This massive trout farm sells their fish directly to the many restaurants in the town below. The water here comes directly from the cool mountain spring, not pumped in like most trout farms in Korea. And the owner was happy to show us his farm. But guys, like this is gonna be amazing. I've never seen Songhe look this red and bright and beautiful. This is like one of the coolest restaurants I've ever been to in my life. I am so happy we came. They're really nice people. Bon day, cheers, cheers. 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 Muju Machip tour. Muju Machip tour. Thank you, travel shooting. Oh yeah. Oh. Shiwanara. Alright man. Why don't you go first, since this is your first time ever. You always make me do this, I get Everybody, nervous. It almost looks like a piece of orange. Dude, that it smells orange. really good. I'm gonna try. It's a beautiful 
beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, isn't it good? It is a it's lot like than... Yolno, but no fat. Yeah, it's like a um, a less buttery salmon. Yeah. But it's still really clean tasting and nice. It's got a complexity in the aftertaste. Like I'm still getting flavors. The very end, you get a little of that natural wood, like the way moss smells. I'm right, serious. It's a little. You always go so much deeper than I go. <laughs> it's good. Wow. Just, uh, oh, we got the fried one. Wow. So much big game. Thank you. No more Okay. You're gonna be okay. Just give a little swoosh and I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Samjang is and Samjang is real. Yeah. Uh, do I wanna try the Samjang or the Twiggy? Oh, Cheers man. This is gonna be a good day. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. In my hometown, it's not a huge seafood place, right? Yeah, yeah. The only seafood that they have that's popular is fried fish. So that bite took me back to my childhood. <laughs> that's the best when you eat food and it reminds you of your childhood. That's the best. For me, saltwater fish, the complexity is usually only in the texture. Like almost all salt saltwater fish tastes almost the same to me, but it's always either the fat content or the chewiness of it. This is the difference. This actually has some unique flavor. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. Cheers, everybody. It's an amazing weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Some more of this. Man, it's so nice of them. Man, this is so good. This is. I love solo. Hey. Food experiences like this. This is what I live for, man. This makes me happy. I honestly think if we didn't hike up here, it wouldn't be as good. Yeah, it wouldn't be as good. Like the fact that we had to work for it. The food is incredible, the scenery is beautiful, and the company is even better. What else is there to ask for? How about some tequila? What did the owner say his name was again? Turns out Daniel lived in South America for 20 years and now imports 100% agave tequila and Colombian coffee into Korea. This is something, I mean, I guess I never imagined happening. Hiking up Dokyusan deep into the forest to eat some raw trout. And now I'm drinking some of the best tequila I've had in my life. This whole Muju thing is turning bizarre. Bizarre, but magical. I in the Mexico City. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? You traveled to Mexico? Wow. No, last time I live in Colombia, 20 years. Really? Yeah. In oh one year God. in Mexico. So is this good Anju, tequila Anju? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, smells good. Cheers. One shot? No. <laughs> Not good. Oh my god. It's tasty. Mm. Wow. It's no burn. Very soft. Yeah. 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 100% taste. Very soft. Yeah. Softer than water. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good to eat. What kind of water are you drinking? Ah, we need to try Songo. Songo and tequila. Want some? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. It's mm. really delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much for okay. sharing with us. Okay. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this restaurant is very special. The I think this restaurant is 40 years. 40 years? Wow. Whoa, no pomachi. My first time. This is his uh, trying this. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, but no problem. It's very the fish very clean. Yeah, oh, oh, so yeah. clean. Super clean. Very, very clean. clean. It like even guys, even without soy sauce, just 
Just songo is good. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce doesn't yeah. it doesn't need. Did you always try with gochujang? Yeah. Gochujang yeah. is sonmat. Mm. Handmade. You make koro. Genjang gochujang. It's a vegetable. I see. Mm -hmm. You grow these here? Yeah. That's wow. awesome. Over here. Do you have mushrooms growing over there? Yeah. Basil mm -hmm. farm? The year two times. Two times a year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do you harvest? What month? Uh, spring, spring and autumn. Okay. If you drink it slow enough, there's like no burn. Yeah. It's like water. Oh, so I get soft. it. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So one thing you do have to know about this place is I would definitely call before you come here. Um, this place, you have to hike up here. There's pretty much all outdoor seating. So, so like, if it rains, don't come. Yeah, I heard if it rains, they're not gonna open. Just call them to make sure that they're open. But if you're coming to Muju, this this is an experience. You're gonna hike, you should hike here anyway. It's beautiful. And you can stop and get some um, some delicious songo and some delicious alcohol. And... Or drink a bottle of makgeolli on the way. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. So after several shots of tequila, a few bottles of beer, and an incredible meal, it was safe to say that we started off on the right foot with Muju. The people, just like most places in Korea, were already opening up their hearts to us. And based on Sharif's first experience with Songo Hui, I knew I could trust my eating partner on this journey. As journalist Hunter S. Thompson once wrote, buy the ticket, take the ride. Well, we're in the middle of it now, and I have no idea where it's going to go next. <laughs>